Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Joe 2.0 coming back at you with another uh video. Um today I have a somewhat special episode. Um I've received a couple of things. One of which being a brand new face mask which I will be unboxing and reviewing. And the other things being stuff for my violin and my guitar. The very first thing you will, that, eh, that I will be going over is very obvious, I think. May not be able to see it very well on camera, but my guitar now has a stand. Let's move it out into the light a bit more so we can see it better on camera. All in all, it's a pretty good stand. I'd, I'd rate it like 4 out of 5 stars. Or maybe an 8 out of 10. It's definitely not the best in the business necessarily, but it is pretty good and I found it quite reliable so far. Unfortunately though, it did come in a damaged box and one of the pieces was missing. I can't get this top section to lock quite right so it's a bit slidey but the friction on this joint part is good enough that it really doesn't matter so I can just set it there and slap my guitar on top of it and forget about it, you know. Next, I will be putting on this face mask and reviewing it. Alright guys, so let's open this up. Alright, first impressions, it's um, it's a bit springy, and definitely has a, a much nicer feel. Um, now I have, I have another face mask around here somewhere, oh, crud, I think I left it downstairs, but that one's definitely softer than this, but... This one definitely has a more refined feel to it now. Trying it on real quick. It definitely seems to want to conform to your face a bit more. This this part this this part right here is definitely the most troublesome part for me with most face masks. Because I wear glasses, so that tends to fog up my glasses if there's a, um, a hole there. Obviously that the, um, the fitting of it is adjustable and, uh, one size fits all, so make of that what you will. Some people like it, some people don't. Not everybody's cup of tea. I personally do like it. Because that means I can I can definitely make it fit me no matter what. Um, the next thing we'll be going over is a violin net shoulder rest. I have not tried this out just yet, but I will be trying it out just now on camera. Now it did come with a few things, one of which being a brand new package of resin, or rosin if you were going to pronounce it as, as it's spelled, I guess that's called phonetically, and as you can see, yes it is brand spanking new. Um, 
as compared with one that has been used a bit more. You can see this one's worn down a bit, has some scratches, some chips. Yeah. And it also came with a violin mute. Rubbery, soft, good quality, I would say. Um, now, I don't have much experience with these things, as I have not really seen these before. Bef but it seems to be a good quality. So, let's actually see if it makes a difference, because usually when I take this part off, it, my violin always, oh, that actually did make a difference, cool, cool, okay, I'm gonna set you down, you guys down while I fix this up, All right, so just um, first impressions. It's very good, very comfortable. I think I have you guys upside down, sorry. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Um, I would say that it, it's actually pretty good because it's adjustable. So I bought one that would fit a 3 fourths and 4 fourths size violin. Um, now I think my violin is a three-fourths size or somewhere thereabouts, so it's pretty cool, I would say. And from my experience with um, shoulder rests on violin, since I used to have one before but I lost it and Lord only knows where it is, um, this is actually pretty good and they do ten tend to make playing easier and this is uh, you can quickly take it on put it on and take it off of your violin um without any disturbance while playing so huge plus there all in all i'd rate this shoulder rest about nine out of ten stars Um, now I have ordered all of these things except for the face mask through Amazon. The face mask was a gift. Um, did I remember to put a rating to it? Um, 9 out of 10 stars. As I say, there's always room for improvement. And unfortunately, Mine did not come with the adjustable nose grip, so, come see, come see. Um, next up, we have a beautiful guitar um, strap that I've ordered through Amazon as well. Which makes playing my guitar so much easier. 
<sighs> this guitar actually came with a shoulder, with a, a yeah, a strap. It came with a strap, but I um, lost the strap. Uh, don't know what happened to it. Probably got lost during a move at some point. But I am working with a Les Paul Epiphone. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It has um, numbered frets, as you can see here. And all in all, it's a pretty good electric guitar, I would say. Not that I have particularly very much experience with electric guitars myself, but... Yeah. Um, feel free to correct my technique for putting this on in the comments, as I have absolutely zero idea what I am doing. Um, I think that's evident by the way that I'm slightly struggling to put this on quickly. It's a very comfy strap, I would say. This is like some sort of cotton, I believe, or maybe a nylon. And I've already tuned up my guitar, so... And, I, bonus point, I tuned the guitar while I was wearing this strap, and it's very good for playing, so if I was going to... Yeah, so, if you're wondering, that was Seven Nation R army by the white stripes just the main chord main chorus uh, not chorus rather but the main melody just strummed out real quick on it on on this um, and this strap also came with um uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but what I assume it's for is, like, if you were going to have this end of the strap over here at the end of the neck, you would wrap this around to strap, to the strap, because there's obviously no, um, there's no button over here, that's what I'm going to call it, I don't know the terminology for it, it also can't, Okay, rookie mistake. I'm not used to having a um, ceiling fan. And it also came with, ah, there they are. All right, well, I can't find the other one. I'll look for it later, but came with two of these rubber stoppers, like washers, but they're made of rubber. And I assume that these go on the cat on the on the buttons in between the strap and the body of the guitar, or maybe you use them on the the head of the neck um, to like prevent damage um, yeah 9 out of 10 so far so
that has been this episode of Joe 2.0 Reviews. Um, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one.